welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan Fox and I just thought I'd pop on here and give you a quick rundown of what I'm taking to the hospital. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video yet. I know like a lot of people title it what's in my hospital bag, but honestly I can't fit all this stuff in a bag. And before you think that I'm going to have this long detailed video with item after item, this is my second time around. I am not packing anything that is not necessary except okay maybe I'm packing a few extra outfits for the baby just because I don't know which one I want to send him home in yet or anything like that but for the most part I have not packed that much stuff but as you can see when I go through this I can't get it all in a bag and I will show you that as I go so we'll start out here with the baby's bag which happens to also be the diaper bag basically I just packed the diaper bag like I normally would bottles wipes everything like that um, by the way if you're wanting to know about this diaper bag I'm really excited about it I have not used it yet um, my favorite thing about it is that it can be a backpack as well, which of course is an essential for me. But my last diaper bag for my daughter um, is kind of small and I knew I would need to upgrade to a bigger size if I'm going to carry stuff around for an 18 month old and a newborn. I can't tell you if I like it yet or not because I haven't used it, um, but so far I like how the, all the organization options and things like that. Um, if you'd like to see a detailed video titled What's in My Diaper Bag? I would gladly do that, but let me know down below. I'm not going to spend too much time just rambling on about this. And basically, I packed my diaper bag like normal. I'll just show you inside really quickly here. I have some organizational pouches and some things like that so you can, so I can stay organized. And I have a few extra outfits in here because I don't really know what I want him to wear yet on the way home. But for the most part, they're just in onesies and a blanket. So that's pretty much what I have packed except for a few cute beanies and things like that. Um, I didn't pack anything really extra for the baby. They have everything at the hospital for you. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that. I am going to a hospital to have the baby, which um, it could be an OBGYN or a midwife that helps me deliver, depending who's on call at the time. But basically, like I said, there's nothing really extra in here that I wouldn't need, except I did pack my, um, I like to do a little calendar instead of a book for my baby. It's just simple and easy and I can make sure I do it all year. I did this for Ivani and I'm planning on doing it for the next baby as well. And so I'm taking that along to the hospital so that we can get the baby footprints in like they did last time. That was really nice. Yeah, and like I said, I can definitely show you a complete tour of the diaper bag if you would like to see it. Okay, so that's the baby's diaper bag. Now I have a suitcase, a little mini suitcase here, not too big for Josh and I. And inside this one, I'm not gonna go through every item again, but in here I have my robe, of course, um, just socks, underwear, all that stuff. Fuzzy socks because your feet do get cold. I have an extra outfit in here for Ivani um, because I want to have a cute picture of us sitting on the bed together and I just want to make sure I have something that doesn't clash with everything in the room. Um, I had packed a blanket and here is a pillow. Packed a, blan a blanket and pillow for Josh because he might need that, who knows. I had a really quick labor the first time around. Doesn't mean it's going to be like that the second time. I keep telling myself. <laughs> Prepare for the long haul. You don't know. You're not guaranteed. Anyway, I have some more swaddle blankets here, just because I am obsessed with swaddle blankets. <laughs> and Josh's clothes, and just some fuzzy nighty pants and things like that. So I'll add my toiletries very last minute when it's time to run out the door. Phone chargers, phone, that kind of stuff. Okay, so so far we have Josh's in my suitcase and the baby bag. So to complicate things even further, I have a 17 month old that will not be going along with us to the hospital and I have no idea where we'll be or what time of day that is. I guess it's just God's way of reminding us that we have no control of how things go and so I don't know what's going to happen or how it's going to all go down but I have to have a bag for my daughter as well because she's going to go to a babysitter and we don't know who yet, probably one of our moms but maybe not because they might not even be able to take her depending on the time of day. But I'm not worried about that, we'll have care for Ivani but I basically just threw everything in this little adorable backpack that my mom got her for Christmas and I just threw in basically it's just the stuff that she would need for you know a two-day stay um, pampers wipes some food snacks just so that they're there a nighty also I'm taking this boppy pillow along to the hospital um, anything to make nursing easier right I used this in the hospital last time so I imagine I will want it again and of course of course, I'm taking this birthing ball along as well. I didn't get to use it for Ivani, but I brought it along and things just went too fast. I didn't get to sit on it at all, but we're bringing it along again this time and I guess Josh will just truck it in and we'll see if we need it. I know the hospital does have one, but I'm not gonna count on it being available. Um, so I'm bringing my own along. 
yeah, see what I'm saying? This stuff is not gonna all fit in a hospital bag. <laughs> also, you can't forget the car seat. And I made this little car seat cover here. Um, I love the fabric. If you look closely, it's not actually stripes. It is tire tracks. <laughs> so I like that little abstract take on boyishness. And anyway, inside I just have the car seat. This is the same one, Graco Quick Connect um, that we got with our stroller for Ivani. And we really liked it. Here's just a little toy. And I have a blanket in here, a fuzzy blanket to um, cover the baby with when we go out of the hospital. I imagine it will be cold when we leave, so I have that in there. But yeah, there's just a lot of things. You can't just pack a bag and call it good. There's lots of things you could take. And I know I could be a little more minimalistic than this. I wouldn't have to bring my birthing ball. I probably don't, wouldn't need to bring the boppy pillow, but I am pretty, I feel like I'm pretty streamlined. I'm not packing any extra towels or anything. I'm not extra like that. I know some people hate the hospital towels, but whatever. It's not like I'm wearing them. I'm just drying off in them and putting something else on. So I'm not really worried about that. So if you'd like to see all the stuff here in one place, this is all of it. Um, I did forget to mention my camera bag and an extra camera battery. I'm definitely bringing that along. I don't plan on videotaping everything, but I do want to take some pictures. So yeah, mine and Josh's bag, the baby bag, Ivani's bag, birthing ball, pillow, car seat, and a blanket and the bobby pillow. So yeah, poor Josh, he's gonna be loading all that stuff up. Oh, I did skip one pocket in over here in mine and Josh's suitcase. Um, I packed him some snacks and stuff, Nutri-Grain bars, that kind of stuff. But I also inside here have my notebook slash journal and I took this along when I had Ivani and I was journaling in real time while I was in labor. I didn't realize I was in labor at the time, but looking back, it was so cool to be able to see it like play by play. Um, and so I'm bringing that along so I can hopefully write everything down right afterwards because I do want to share the story with you at least in an abbreviated form in a future video. Also in here I have my birth plan. They want you to print this out and have it with you and they made a copy of it last time with Ivani. Um, it's pretty basic. Mine is basically the goal is to have a healthy baby and I really 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 want to avoid a c-section if I can. I just don't want all that recuperation and all that. So I'm really hoping for a natural birth. And I also am gonna to try to do it without an epidural again. Um, I just like the idea of being able to, I mean, I have experienced labor in all of its intensity the first time around, but I do like the idea of being able to feel and move around when I need to and just people have, my mom did it that way and I just would like to be able to do it that way too. That's my preference. But that being said, I also feel like I want it to be good memories. I don't want my husband to be scarred or myself even looking back thinking, how miserable and horrible it was. I mean, yeah, labor is terribly painful, but it's a beautiful thing and I wanna keep it that way. So if I feel like I need an epidural because I'm just like losing it or whatever, I will get one, but I am hoping that I can avoid that. And I know at our hospital, they're now offering some kind of like gas. Oh, what is it called? I can't even think. Like, but anyway, you can breathe it in and it like takes the edge off the pain. You have to administer it to yourself. I don't know. Maybe that would be an option as well. I have no idea. But yeah, I'm hoping that I can avoid that as well if possible, just because I wanna be there and with it when my baby is born. Yeah, as far as birth plan stuff, I can't really think of anything else that's super interesting. Um, Josh cut the cord the last time, that was cool. Um, I told them I wanted to see the placenta because I had no idea what one looked like. Um, I think I'm good, I don't need to see it this time. <laughs> oh man, anyway. And yeah, I am planning on breastfeeding, um, if that all works out. So yeah, I'm excited, just a little bit nervous, um, but you can pray for me if you think about it, and I just pray that I can bring this little boy safely into the world, and it'll just be good memories attached to it. And I just thank you all for watching and taking an interest, and I hope you could learn something from this if you're a first-time mom wondering what you should pack. Just don't be fooled, it's not just a hospital bag. <laughs> you usually need a few other things, and definitely at least the car seat, you can't go home without that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.